Developments in the Middle East. Earlier today, Iran launched a missile attack on Israel. The escalation is sparking growing fears of an expanding war in the region, too. Channel 3's Natalie Brandt reports from the White House. Iran fired a barrage of nearly 200 ballistic missiles at Israel, Tehran's second attack on the Jewish state in close to six months. During a security cabinet meeting, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke about the escalating tension, saying Iran made a big mistake tonight and will pay for it. Israel's ambassador told the United Nations Israel will decide when and how it will respond. It will be noticed. It will be painful. An Israeli military spokesman said the country's air defenses intercepted many of the incoming missiles with help from the U.S. military and naval destroyers in the region. President Biden reiterated the U.S. remains fully supportive of Israel and he directed the U.S. military to help shoot down the Iranian missiles. We're still assessing the impact, but based on what we know now, the attack appears to have been defeated and ineffective. Iran says it launched the attack in retaliation for Israel's ground offensive in Lebanon and Israel's strikes on Hezbollah. A national security advisor Jake Sullivan called Iran's missile attack a significant escalation. We are now going to look at what the appropriate next steps are to secure first and foremost American interests and then to promote stability to the maximum extent possible as we go forward. The Pentagon had moved additional military support to the Middle East ahead of Tuesday's attack. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. The attacks on Israel are having a significant impact on the Jewish, the Jewish community here in our state. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina continues our team coverage after speaking with local Jewish leaders and those with family in Israel right now. Hector. Well, members of the Jewish community here in Connecticut say they feel for their loved ones and wish they could do more to help overseas. However, experts in counterterrorism say this conflict could grow into a more regional war. Rabbi Tuvia Brander's parents and three brothers are in Jerusalem. So you could imagine his emotions when he heard Iran conducted a missile attack on Israel Tuesday. It's, it's, it's terrifying. You feel powerless at moments. However, he says his family and friends have learned to live with the fear and unpredictability of this ongoing conflict. Uh, my sister's good friend had a baby in the midst of this uh, attack. Uh, as the sirens were wailing, she was laboring. Kenneth Gray is a criminal justice professor at the University of New Haven and former FBI agent with expertise in counterterrorism. He worries the ongoing attacks between Israel, Iran, Palestine, and other nations will grow into a more regional war. He explained how that will impact the United States' support of Israel, one of their closest allies. The United States will become more involved. The United States had said that they were not going to send more fighters into the area. The United States is sending more fighters into the area. Gray says U.S. military forces are already sending two of their nine aircraft carriers of the entire fleet, all while the United States is trying to de-escalate any retaliation from Israel. That's a lot of assets, uh, but the United States has said that we will continue backing Israel, despite the fact that we've been trying to keep Israel from uh, increasing their, uh, their number of attacks. David Warren, president of the Jewish Federation of Greater Hartford, expects a quick retaliation. However, he still thinks there's a chance in the long term for peace between Israel and Iran. Uh, there are all kinds of indications that um, the government of Iran does, re does not represent a majority of the citizens of Iran. Perhaps there's a real chance now in a united fashion with Israel and the U.S. and other allies, ultimately, not only to defend Israel now, but potentially ultimately to affect regime change in that region. Now, October 7th marks a full year since the first attack by Hamas on Israel. Warren says the Jewish Federation of Greater Hartford plans to hold a special commemoration for the lives lost that day and throughout this ongoing conflict. In studio, Hector Molina, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.